Hey gang, Dead Girl here. I wanted to first of all say hello and welcome to my new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you have not yet done so, hit that little subscribe button and, you know, stay tuned for the fun stuff that's going to be coming. Now, I know it's a little early in the season to be talking about this, but I wanted to address some of the rumors that are going around for this year's Halloween Horror Nights. Now, so far I've heard some talks about a couple of different houses as well as a scare zone. Now, last year they did a fantastic job. Uh, Universal did a lot of independent houses, which I thought was really nice and really refreshing. Um, they also did some movie houses as usual. Their Ash vs. Evil Dead house was beautifully done. The scenic in there was fantastic. It captured not only the TV show, but the movies as well. The Shining House was another one of my favorites. Again, the scenic in that was absolutely gorgeous. Um, you know, definitely captured the movie. They had the whole elevator scene with the blood pouring down and it just, just well done. They also had, um, another favorite of mine was the American Horror Story House. It captured a couple of different seasons and the casting in that house was really spot on. There were a couple of girls that looked exactly like the characters from the TV show, which was fantastic. Now, if you go to Horror Nights, a lot of you, you know, you go to be scared. You go because you want that thrill, you want that adrenaline rush. Now, for me, I personally go for the scenic work. I don't get scared in those houses. The main reason being is they conga line you through them, so the scare happens either right in front of your face or it's going to happen right behind you, so you completely miss it. Um, so for me, I like to go. I like to check out the scenic work. Um, I usually go through the houses multiple times just so I can kind of take it all in and enjoy it. So for me, it's definitely worth something doing. Now, this year, there have been some rumors already circulating um, pertaining to an It House. Um, it was a remake of the Stephen King novel that was actually made into a movie many, many moons ago. They read it last year. Um, it was widely well received. It made a lot of money. The child actors in it were phenomenal. Um, everybody did a really great job. It was beautiful to watch. CGI in some of the scenes... I wasn't too thrilled about, but they did do, you know, it, it was a good flick. It was something that I definitely enjoyed watching and I definitely, you know, would give that one multiple watches. So I'd be curious to see how they turn that into a house this year. Now, for those of you that aren't fans of clowns, this is going to be something that's going to probably scare you just a little bit. And for those people out there that have this issue, I really enjoy it. There's nothing more I like seeing than people run terrified of clowns. I'm not sure what's so scary about them. Um, personally, they don't terrify me. I find them highly amusing even when they're trying to be scary. It just is. It's not something that, you know, freaks me out. But I could see how the general public, that's something that would be quite disturbing. So I'd be curious to see how that one pans out. They also talked about doing um, a believe it was Stranger Things house um, has been thrown out there. A lot of fans have been asking for it. It's something that I think would be a very smart move on Universal's part. They just released season two a couple of months ago. That was a wonderful, wonderful, you know, follow up to the first season. Um, for those of you that don't know, it's a series on Netflix. It's very, very 1980s feeling, um, you know, just really cool. It's got one and a writer in it and she does her one on a writer thing as always, but just, just really, really awesome. So I'd be really interested to see what they do as far as turning that into a house goes. And I would love to see how they create the Demogorgon because you can't have a Stranger Things house without having the Demogorgon. So that's something that if they do decide to do that, I'm, I would very much be happy about that. And I would, I would definitely enjoy it and, and go back multiple times for that. Um, there was some talk on one of the unofficial Halloween Horror Night fan sites. They mentioned the possibility of them bringing back the Walking Dead, so to speak. Um, in other words, they're talking about maybe Universal bringing back zombies again, um, except this time putting them into a scare zone. There was mention of them taking the old Walking Dead masks and kind of repurposing and repainting them and using them for this new zombie scare zone. Um, you know, I have friends that have worked horror nights as far as makeup goes and scare acting goes. And from my understanding, they destroy those masks. They do not reuse them. So if they still have the molds for it, I would be surprised if AMC gave them, you know, to them so that they could do that. But it's something that I, I doubt they would do. But there was a rumor going that they may bring the zombies back again into their own scare zone. And they may use it as a tribute to George A. Romero. 
Now, George Romero, as many of you know, is the godfather of the zombie genre. Um, he did 19... 68 I think it was the night the original Night of the Living Dead followed up by Dawn of the Dead and Day of the Dead he also did Land of the Dead and Diary of the Dead and, and a few other films on um, Martin's one of them Creep Show, one of my all-time favorites so he had passed away recently and they also gave him a strong Hollywood Walk of Fame so it would be really cool if they could do some kind of tribute to him um you know Horror Nights that would be something that I I would I would definitely be excited for and I'm really hoping that they do it because that would just be awesome. Now Universal around this time last year did announce the dates for Horror Nights. This year we haven't heard anything as far an official start date or end date. Um, they haven't really officially announced any houses yet either. The ones that I just mentioned, the It House and Stranger Things and the possibility of the Zombies Here Zone. These are all just kind of rumors that are circling the net right now. Um, Halloween Horror Nights, if you don't follow their official Twitter page, um, go ahead and do so. They do randomly throw out little hints as to what the houses are going to be this year. Um, they like to get cryptic with it, so it always leaves this fans guessing. And of course, that's where all the speculation stems from. So I've been kind of keeping a close eye on that to see when they start announcing things. So as soon as they do, I will definitely let you guys know what's going on as far as that goes. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick Horror Night update. Um, and I wanted to again say thank you guys for tuning into my channel. If there's something that you want to see me talk about, anywhere that you want to see me go, as far as movies or local haunted attractions, or even to, you know, a haunted house, so to speak, you know, really, um, let me know in the comment section. Um, also, I'd be curious to see what houses would you guys like to see this year at Universal Halloween Horror Nights? What type of scare zones would you like to see? What were some of your favorites from last year's? You know, hit me up, let me know. I'm always curious as to what everybody else thinks. So again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.